All right, guys, the most fastest confessions from suspects. Let's check it out. Interrogations can go on for hours or even days. Dude, 49 hours? Dude. Illustrates a need for videotaping? The DA says that. The DA. Hey, the DA, I'm sure the DA would like the, the videotaping to be on. For there to be the videotape, you know what I mean? Is, but in some rare cases, interrogations can last just seconds. What the? You just jump out of the window. Oh, no. I've actually seen that like a while ago. <laughs> he, he, make, he doesn't make it far though, he's still in handcuffs. Accidentally confessing to escapes, these are five of the fastest police interrogations in history. 31 seconds, okay, okay, nine hours, so it's, that's nine minutes. Starting with Raymond Gates, demonstrating exactly how to head straight to prison in seconds. <laughs> Raymond was brought in after police... Uh, it sucks though, going to prison sucks. ...obtained footage of him assaulting a 17-year-old girl. Police had to prove that the girl never gave consent, which was difficult given that only some of the attack was caught on camera. But became a lot easier when Raymond almost instantly made a huge slip-up in the interrogation that put him dead to rights. This girl came back to my house. She's telling me she wants to lose... Six minutes in. Virginity man, they, like she's ready to do it and everything. And then right a couple seconds before, and she's like, uh, she's like, I don't know and stuff like that. She's telling me yes, everything's cool. She's cool with making out. But when she when she screamed, stop, please don't do this. Damn, bro, come on, man, this guy's screwing up big. Hurts so much. I was already what, inside what? of her at that point. I mean, like the oh no, stop. I'm already like inside of her there, man. It's already. Like, that's when she's like, oh, it hurts, which it hurts when a girl gets her virginity. Bro, not cool, not cool. Taken. And without even trying, the cops had everything they needed to convict him. So he was quickly found guilty and sentenced to nine years in prison. Happens, bro. Supposed to ask for a lawyer, man. Now that they used it against him in court, he didn't think, he didn't think it would happen, bro. He didn't think it would happen. His words would help him be locked up there, right, guys? Taking out the game, though. Sin. Deserved. Deserved, for sure. But while Raymond's interview ended in under 10 minutes, Quantrell Schwartzlow did it even faster, with his interrogation ending in just seconds. What the heck? But not in the way you... Hey, they already got him in cuffs. So, he, he's already in trouble. He's already... Uh, he's, you know what I mean? You think. Snap. Let's, let's, let's see this one. Quantrell was brought in for strangling a girl and assaulting her, a crime he clearly didn't want to be convicted of. <laughs> this is something you see on like uh, court TV or something. True, true TV is it now, it's called. Damn, bro, he, uh, he immediately, it's like he, he robotically knew what to do here. Like, he's a seasoned, like, escaper, bro. <laughs> He, he's booking it. He does not want to go. He does not want to serve his time for sure here, guys, right? Oh, no. Oh, you, know, you know, they definitely installed some updates on the, the door there for sure, guys, right? Unfortunately for Quantrell, his handcuffs were a dead giveaway, and he was captured four hours later. While it's unknown exactly... Four hours, though. Yeah. He got away for four hours. Damn, bro. It's hard to get those handcuffs off, right, guys? You need some sort of power tool. But they're gonna find him eventually, man. And what happens to Quantrell after, this clip will forever put him in the interrogation hall of fame. <laughs> However, Ricky Hawthorne took a... Bro, that wasn't even an interrogation, bro. He just put him in the room. <laughs> thought, he, thought he was, uh, you know... Then he was gonna get away for nothing, and then bam, taking out the game. Much more straightforward approach to ending his interrogation, managing to confess in record time. Ricky was found covered in blood near the bodies of Lara Kuchar and Tommy Skeens. There, that's a dead giveaway. That's a dead giveaway that he did it right. Lara had clearly been. 
assaulted. Ricky's DNA was also found at the scene, so police had no worries when bringing him in. Surprisingly though, Ricky would make it even easier for them. He's like, get me out of this room. I'm ready to serve my time or something. Yeah, I did. I did. You know what? Let's do this. I did it, but I think somebody came behind me and finished it. Okay. Yeah, I did it. So much for staying silent. <laughs> but nah, bro. Heinous crime what he did, bro. Not cool. Not cool to do it. However, Ricky is alleging that he wasn't actually the murderer. He just attacked the couple and assaulted Laura. It was <laughs> nah, man. Come on now. Somebody came behind and it's not like it's not like an action movie or something, bro, where you you need um you need you need backup at the last moment, you know, to finish them off or something, because they're gonna like finish you off. You know what I mean? It's not like that kind of movie, bro. It's real life, bro. Don't be doing that. Was someone else that finished the job. Even though the evidence was stacked against him. Confessing to the police works no benefit against works against you no offering no benefit. He still would have had a better chance of getting away with it if he just stayed silent. There's three more people. I don't know. And you know what? They was living when I left, but I think somebody came in behind me and finished them off. I did beat the shit out of them, but it was somebody else. I don't. I left. Despite his claims, it was determined that the couple died of the injuries inflicted by Ricky. Bro. DNA evidence doesn't lie, bro. It may be microscopic, but it does tell a tale, right, guys? And he was later found guilty of first and second degree murder. Even this, they slap a second degree. As well as battery in the assault on Laura. But Jared Murray takes the cake for the most insane interrogation in history. Let's see this. Jared had shot his friend in the head during a car ride to Walmart for no other reason than to know what it felt like to kill someone. Bro, what are you doing, bro? Wow, what what a terrible way, man. This guy does not deserve sympathy for this, bro. What? It's not a video game, bro. This is real life, man. He should have learned better, bro. That's so sad, bro. He just killed his friend randomly. Jared attempted to flee by hitchhiking to Canada, but was picked up by an officer after perfectly matching the perp's description. The officer took him into custody where a quick but truly chilling interview took place. Okay, and what do you remember telling me? Uh, in summation that I'm guilty, yes. Of what? Of murder. Okay, and who did you murder? Uh, Gennaro. Okay, and then how did you murder him? With a gun. I Bro, he's... He's like, uh, man, do I have to really explain here? Or something? Like, I shot him in the head twice. Twice as well, bro. This guy's going, oh, man. So sad. So sad for this to happen. Okay. Uh, three shots were fired, one missed. Jared isn't hanging around here, and apparently had already confessed before he even made it to the state. He, he's, he's, he's just, he's, he's being man, very descriptive. Like, that's something his, uh, like, the prosecutor would say is... If he wasn't telling the truth there, right, guys? But, hey, it saved the state some money from going to court, you know, instead of going to court. Station. But what's interesting about this interrogation isn't the speed at which he confessed. It's exactly why, as well as his general demeanor throughout the interview. Okay. Jared, give me your full name. Jared Lindreth Wayne Murray. Okay, and... He has four names, guys. How do you get four names? What's your date of birth? Uh, July the 20th, 1994. And how'd you guys hook up? Uh, I went down to his dorm room and asked if I could be given a ride to Walmart in exchange for $20 gas money. Okay. And did he agree to that? Yes, sir. Okay. And that's a couple miles from the school? He's being a highly, you know, detective being level-headed here. Uh, 1.7 miles, sir. 1.7 miles. Bro, it's like he took that from the GPS, man. He's highly, like, he's like an intelligent dude, man. I can't believe this happened. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, now, so he took you to Walmart? Yes, sir. And did you both go in? No, we did not go in, sir. Okay, and why not? We pulled into the parking lot, then I pulled the, uh, weapon on him and demanded that he take me to Asher, Oklahoma, sir. Okay, and why did, all of a sudden, did you decide that you needed to go to Asher? 
because I was planning to take him out into the country and kill him. Jared lacks any form of empathy, remorse, or knowledge that what he's done is a bad thing. Oh, why, man? Why, man? It's so sad, dude. I'm not happy. He merely expresses his actions as though they were fact, and in a later psychological... He's like, he's acting like the prosecutor or something, bro. He's taking the prosecutor's job, bro. <laughs> like, he's providing... The assessment, it was determined this was because he had become delusional and believed that he was required to kill someone. If it Bro, so sad. It's not clear by now. Jared was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, and delusions from this are likely what pushed him to kill Gennaro. But Jared is happy to provide us with even more detail surrounding his motive. Okay. So I, I have, I have, I had this kind of effect on me, but I never like wanted to hurt anyone like this, you know. I never did actually. You better, guys. Well, you've been. You've been planning this for two days. Uh, two weeks, yes. Two weeks. But not with a selected individual, no. Okay. And when did you get to the point where you knew it was going to be him? That was three days prior to the incident. And why him? Uh, all the kids in college here, why, why him? I believed that he would have had the least impact, sir. Impact of on what? Uh, I believed he didn't have many friends, or many close friends, I should rephrase. And as his, <clears throat> as he is going missing, his absence would be less notable. Jared was, of course, charged with first-degree murder, but was eventually found. He doesn't look happy when they're when he's already in his uh, jail suit, right there, right, guys? You know what I mean? Not guilty by reason of insanity. Instead of receiving prison time, he. Yeah, uh, it, I know they they say he's not guilty, but he's still. You still gotta stay in the mental hospital for like ever, bro. Would instead spend an indefinite amount of time in custody at a mental health facility where he would receive the treatment he should have had so much earlier. All three of these cases have been about criminals who confessed quickly, but there are many cases where the interrogation is almost instant, but for a very different reason. This 18-year-old suspect was brought in after allegedly hitting a cop with his car and was subsequently read his Miranda rights. Yeah, it is a criminal investigation. Obviously, you're not free to go because you have warrants for your arrest. Um, we read your Miranda because it's very important you understand your rights. Okay, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say you can and will be used against you in court. They said, can and will be used against you, man. Court of law. They don't read me that, that often, guys. Like, does that have to be only for certain crimes? I thought they read it to you every single time, guys. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Yes, sir. Have these rights in mind? Do you wish to talk to me now? Yes, sir. I'm sorry? You say what? what you say? Have these rights in mind? Do you wish to talk to me now? No, sir. sir. You don't want to talk to me? I just call my mom. Okay, you can call your mom at the jail. All right. At just 18 years old, this guy showed exactly how to act in a police interrogation, perfectly exercising his rights and truly outsmarting detectives, assuming he wanted to land himself in prison for the rest of his life. So he, went to, uh, prison for corrupt he went to prison for the rest of his life? Hey, he must have watched some crime shows or something, or even... Even this guy before, um, before, you know, going and doing what he did. Jared one is so sad after he stated why he chose a victim. I know, right? This is truly the saddest thing he could have said. I like the wind blows the blind as soon as the detective came in the room. Yeah, you got extra charges for jumping out of the window. Truly really terrifying that there are people like Jared walking among us. That's scary, man. Can't believe how skilled they are. Yeah, they. Do they hire somebody who's that separate? Or are they craziest interrogations of all time? Oh my gosh. But yeah, guys, that's our video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next one, okay? Later. Peace out.